Hey everybody, what's going on? Vinny here from Nerd Talk. Today we're going to look at how to flash a custom ROM on your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S6. This will work for S6 or 6 Edge. Obviously I'm on the Edge model, uh, so let's get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the ROM page for this. Uh, for the example I'm going to use, I'm going to do the clean ROM. Uh, so basically you're going to run over to the XDA page and for this ROM what you're going to have to do is scroll down here at the bottom. And the first thing you really need to do is just download it. Go ahead and download it to your phone. Get that out of the way and get it on your device. So next what we need to do is you of course have to be rooted and you have to be rooted with ping pong root 5.1 or newer and you do have to make sure that you are on 5.1 or newer because if you don't the ROM will not boot and you will be forced to Odin back to stock this is the issue that I ran into I wasn't paying enough attention when I first tried to install the ROM and I got stuck there I had Odin back to stock and you can see my nice video tutorial on how to do that I guess I'll leave a link for that below in case any of you actually accidentally mess up. Anyway, so next uh, you're going to want to go ahead and start FlashFire. So most of you probably don't have this app yet. So, so in order to get FlashFire, what you're going to need to do is you're going to scroll, you're going to go to this link. I'll leave a link down below. It's going to be called FlashFire, okay? So go down to that link and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to join the beta group so the first thing you're gonna have to do is click here um, the Google Plus page and you're gonna click join community or join group wherever they word it you're just gonna click that and then you're gonna go back and then it will give you a nice little link for the Play Store now it might not work immediately don't freak out you might have to wait an hour or two for the link to work for you but in any event you'll click on this it's gonna bring you to this and it will either say you are a tester or you're not. If you're not, then you need to try to either do it over again or just wait a little while for it to update. But anyways, what you'll do is you'll hit download from the Play Store here. And then you'll simply download this app. I obviously have already installed it, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so once you're done downloading that, you're all set. What we need to do is actually, we'll go back to that because we need to open that app. So we'll just do it from there. You just need to open it up. It'll do its checks. You might have to grant user permission if it's the first time for you opening the app. Next, we're going to hit this plus down here, and we're going to hit wipe. Now, don't mess with anything. Just leave it exactly how it is, okay? Don't click internal storage or cache, none of that. Just hit that check mark, okay? And then, we're going to, after you're done with that, and you can see here it has the wipe and then reboot ready then we're gonna hit plus again okay and then we're gonna do flash zip and then we are gonna find the clean ROM which should be in your download so right here we're not gonna do auto mount none of that we're gonna hit check okay alright so once you have the zip loaded you should see it show up right here you can also see down here that the wipe is still ready to go uh, you're all set now so all you have to do now is hit flash and then of course it'll come up with a little warning and it might take a little while and you hit OK and I'll do probably a little time lapse here because this will take a minute or two so I'll see you back in a minute Alright you guys, so here we are, we're all ready to go and look at our clean ROM. Uh, give me a second here, and I'm going to go through the setup wizard, and we'll take a quick look at what the ROM feels like. Alright guys, so here we are, all set and ready to go. So, you might be wondering, what is so different about Clean ROM? Well, Clean ROM is just amazing, and the reason why is because it's not 
like overly tweaked and overly themed or anything you know it's not that kind of rom so if that's what you're looking for this isn't it the basic point of it is just for it to be exactly how the name says it's really clean all the bloatware and stuff from verizon and samsung are gone you see i have no more amazon stuff sorry guys i apologize for that random cut but my battery on my camera died so anyways getting back into it here uh the main features of this rom is really it's stable it's smooth has battery enhancements so hopefully it'll you know fix the the battery on this phone to be even better uh, you know, it also removes knocks, so no more knocks on this phone. Verizon and Amazon bloatware is now gone, so that is awesome. Uh, just a very simplistic and, you know, clean ROM. Very stable. It's meant to be a daily driver. It's not meant to be super, you know, themed or super tweaked in any way. It's just really smooth, quick, and clean. So, I mean, that really makes sense, and I don't want to go too much into it, guys, because... I don't really, obviously, I obviously haven't run this ROM very long, a couple of seconds here, so we'll take a look at what it's really like in my full review, but so far, uh, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really good. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to the channel. Please, guys, subscribe and check out the rest of the videos that I post about every day now, it seems. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.